This is the EN11 camera enclosure fully assembled. Our first step will be to assemble the window portion of the enclosure. The components that go on the front of the enclosure is the back gasket, which will reside on the shoulder of the front bezel. The next component is the window itself. We want to ensure that the black diamond side is, is facing to the outside of the enclosure. Next, we will in install the second gasket. Notice that the adhesive is facing up. This is to ensure when we install the retaining ring, it will adhere to this gasket. Next, the retaining ring is installed in the front bezel. It is spun down to come in contact with the gasket. And finally, the retaining ring is tightened with the retaining ring wrench. After light dusting, we install the front bezel o-ring. Next, we'll attach the camera to the camera puck. We do that by inserting the, ca inserting the camera into the camera puck and then screwing in these two stainless steel screws. And also note that the O-ring has been installed on the camera puck. Next, we'll apply a little bit of lubrication to, to the chamfer on both sides of the enclosure tube. Next, we'll insert the camera into the front of the camera tube. And we want to pay particular attention to how the camera is indexed in the tube. So when we go to put the back bezel on, we'll be able to uh, attach or thread in the bolts that hold the camera puck to the back bezel. Next, we'll attach the data cable and the I.O. cable to the back of the camera. Then we'll twist the back bezel to spiral the cables into the enclosure. And we'll pay particular attention to how the back bezel is indexed to the camera puck. Next, the four bolts are inserted into the camera puck where they are aligned with the back bezel. Now, we'll, now we will attach the front bezel to the camera enclosure. It's done by simply threading it on tightening it up. What we want to do on the final assembly is to tighten it up until the O-ring is um, oh, practically not visible. Thank you for watching.